Okay, so I'm going to explain how to install said Wi-Fi adapter into a computer. So the first step you're going to want to do is to actually just shut this tune down. Okay, so if you can see that, the computer has been shut down. And now the next step is to clear off this workspace right here to get ready for the install. Okay, now aside from the few things that I could not remove due to my Campbell management, I have a clear desktop to use. Now, here's the fun part where I get to lift my giant ass computer up onto the table. Delightful. Okay, so Stormy, my computer build, is now on the desk. And as you can see, I had a Wi Fi adapter, but I also wanted Bluetooth, and this thing kept cutting out. So we get to replace it. This should be pretty easy to do. But this also adds another step for me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that and get back to you. So now we have this. Okay, so now that we have the other old one out, we are going to get to installing the new one. This is a fairly uninvasive process because you don't generally have to plug anything into the power supply. So, yeah, here we go. So, if you look right on top of the graphics card there there is a little slot i'll go ahead and point to it it needs to go in there so we're gonna stick this in the slot that i pointed out before second step after you stick it in the slot is actually to screw it in right there so i'm gonna do that Okay, so as you can see, we have the little card in that slot that I pointed out earlier. And within that little network card, there is a power cable that needs to be plugged in. It's right that little white thing that I'm pointing at. And the little connector that we're going to use is this dude. That goes into the card. This side goes into the USB 2, which is generally on the bottom of the motherboard here -ish. for ATX. Uh, micro ATX, generally, same thing. ITX, they can do some weird shit. You can see we have the little cable plugged in to the card and plugged in to USB. Right. Final step is to close this glass panel here. That's close, and then we gotta install these dudes on the back here. Finally, position them so they go up and out so you can still get the cables into the graphics card and your motherboard. All right. So, 
you have just installed a network card if you have been following along. Final step is to test. So, to test, you would generally want to keep your computer on your desk and just quickly plug it into your monitor. But, because my computer is a tank, I have to put it back where it goes. Okay, big boy. Enjoy the thug with me. It's back. Thank God. Okay, so final and last step software-wise is to just go ahead and go on another device or if you have Ethernet on your computer to go on it and click this description and download it, put it on a thumb drive and move it over to this one right here. Okay, so this has been that one where we got it on YouTube and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe and check out my channel for more content coming soon.